I am Saurav. I am a curriculum engineer at Masai. So today we are going to learn about CSS and how to style a web page. So CSS stands for Cascading Style Sheet. Its main purpose is styling a web page or beautifying a web page. So if you remember guys, in our previous video, we discussed around uh, what is HTML, what is it stands for, how we create a basic structure of a web page using HTML. Okay. Today we are going to see how to actually beautify this structure or let's say if we have to take a metaphor, I would say that HTML is the skeleton of our body and everything around our skin, our colors, everything is done by our CSS. Guys, let us quickly dive into our code and let us see some examples how to actually beautify our website using CSS. So, uh, let us say I will quickly create a h1 tag here in my body tag, okay? So, h1, then let's say I will put some text here. I am sort of, this is my name. So, now if I save it and let's say I open it up in the browser. So, guys, everyone I hope remembers, right click on the file name. Now here we have copy path, then we have to paste the path, okay? And we will be able to see our h1 tag in my browser. Now, how to actually color this element? So guys, for that we have something known as style, S-T-Y-L-A, okay, this style. Now inside this uh, quotation, what we can write is, we can write different things. Like let's say we have a CSS property called as color. So as the name suggests, it colors a text. Okay, so if I write color, then press enter, it will generate some boilerplate thing for me. And let's say I want to give it a color of red color. Okay, so I will type red, and if I save it and reload the browser, if you see right now, we have the h1 tag in red color. Okay, by default, the color is always black, and we can define any color that we want. Okay, now red is there, then let's say whatever color i want let's say blue as well and if i save it yeah, that is how it works okay so now guys we will see something known as background color so we have learned about color changes the color of the text now what we will see we will see how to actually change the background color of the element any element okay so for that what i will do let's say background whatever you write vs code will always give you some suggestions no need to remember any of these names or their let's say spelling or all of those things don't worry about them so background color and let's say something like maybe aqua save it and reload it and you can see we have the whole background color in the aqua color okay guys so this is how you actually color uh, background or give it some beautiful colors to the text okay guys so this is how you style any element now we have other things as well so let's say we have different ways of styling as well so let's see. currently what i'm doing i am giving it something like blue this is a hard coded value right so we have different ways of styling it as well let's say rgb values so if you know rgb means red blue and green so what we can do is we can, by combining these three colors we can actually create any color we want okay so if i let's say i change this blue a bit and you will already see we have some rgb values here okay save it and reload this page see a bit more darker blue kind of thing okay these kind of things cannot be defined with words these are something done by rgb values okay guys now guys, this is how you actually color an element by background, by their main color, all of those things. Now what we will do is we will see how to align this text. If you see right now guys, this text always starts from the left hand side of your screen, right? Now we will see how to actually make it center, make it start from the right hand side and all of those things. So the property name is actually text align. So let's say after background, here what I will do is will write let's say text align okay then let's say hide it center here okay if i save it and reload this page you will see that the text of my h1 tag is actually in the center of my screen okay now let's say if i write left this is the default value of the text alignment this is always starts from the left side itself now we will do also right 
save it and reload the page you will see that the text starts from the right side of my screen okay so this is what we call text alignment okay we also have something known as font size so let's say guys if everyone remembers that what was happening when we were in decreasing the value of h1 or when we go into h2 or h3 what was happening the font size was decreasing right the text size was actually decreasing so this is something we can control from css as well so let's say you want something which is bigger than the h1 tag we have so this is something we can control by using font size property of css so font size okay then we have to give it some value so in css everything works with not with uh, some uh, other units that we typically use in our day to day lives we use something known as pixel unit okay so let's say i type something like let's say 30 pixel save it and reload this page if you see right now this is how it will look like okay now let's say we can do other things as well so let's say i increase this font size from 30 to let's say something around 80 pixel maybe let's see what happens you will see that text is very big currently okay so we using this font size property as the pixel value increases my text size will also increase okay now guys th this is the very basic part of our css css is a very vast topic guys if you want to learn more about it you can look it into it okay so that's all from my side bye best of luck and happy learning